Oh, here we are at the Backyard Farmer Garden, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, some of the different weeds that we can get into our landscapes and then eventually into our turf. Um, there's a lot of different types of weeds, and each of them look somewhat similar to some of the landscape plants we have in our landscape, uh, and they can also become a nuisance that's going to spread into our lawn. So what I have here is a, a nice huge dandelion that was growing on the edge of the landscape garden. And you, you know, if you have this in your landscape and you don't take care of it, this nice seed head is going to spread it into your lawn, especially if you have thinned areas, and become a problem. Uh, and just knowing the differences between them, you're looking at leaf texture, uh, and it goes for any weed that you have or any landscape plant. In order to know, you have to be able to identify you know, how it grows, what the characteristics of it are, because uh, a lot of plants will look very similar at a young age or at an older age. So here we have some prickly lettuce, and this one too, I mean it can look kind of like a dandelion, but it's also a weed, and if that one seeds out in the landscape or in your garden, it's going to become a really big issue because it, it's a prolific seed producer, and it can spread throughout the whole landscape and become a big problem next year, especially when you can't spray herbicides along some of these areas that are more sensitive because uh, it's going to be detrimental to the plants that you want. Uh, so here we have curly dock. You can see that it's you know a big broad leaf. Uh, it does produce seed heads and this one can also be you know a small plant or it can grow to four or five foot tall and really take over a landscape and spread really quickly for, for years to come. Uh, another weed that we can commonly mistake for another is uh, maybe poison ivy. There's a bunch of weeds that do look like poison ivy. Uh, one here I have is wild raspberry. And you can see that it might have that, you know, that leaf texture of look like it. If you flip them over, they're white on the bottom, and they also have spines on them. And they, they grow a lot like uh, some of the weeds that we, we think we don't want, like poison ivy. Uh, same here, we have you know, wild strawberry. It looks a lot like maybe some of those weeds that we don't want. And you just got to be able to identify you know, these, these leaves that have lobes on them. Uh, so, basically determining how the leaves are set up and the characteristics of the leaf, whether it's lobed, it's hairy, um, the venation on it, if it's a trifoliate or if it's one leaf. Uh, so there's going to be a bunch of different types that, you know, sometimes we can't even identify just by looking at a picture. We're going to need you to, you know, really get detailed images or we might even need a sample to actually compare it to some of these because a lot of the landscape plants do look like weeds and if we can't get a good image, uh, it's tough for us to tell what kind of weed that is. Here we have pokeweed, and you can see that it's basically an oval, oval leaf structure. And it can look a lot like some of the other weeds like broadleaf plantain or common plantain, which has a narrower leaf, and then uh, cut plant. So the difference is here is you gotta look at, you know, this one obviously has a lot of uh, lobes on the ends of the leaves, whereas Broadleaf plantain is pretty smooth around the edges, and there might be a couple of those lobes at the bottom. And then whereas common plantain is more of a long and slender, and it doesn't have those uh, lobes on the end. So when identifying some of these weeds, you got to make sure that you look at all the different characteristics. If you can get really good pictures close up when they're little, when they're big, and some of them you can't even tell unless they're flowering. So it's important to get some of those maybe time-lapse pictures, let's say week to week, so we can actually find out what's going on, just not taking a split-second shot and trying to figure out what it is. So we'd appreciate if you could get some of those, if they are difficult to identify, uh, a little bit more imaging, maybe not just one day, but a week, two weeks, so we can see a little bit more of its growth habits. Uh, and with that, good luck out there, and hopefully you can be able to identify some of these weeds a little better. Next.